Legends Celebration event. It's on at the moment and I've got some top tips, some cheesy options and some things you haven't considered when it comes to smashing out this event, gathering loads of those celebration crystals, thinking about the timers, thinking about the events that are dropping. I've got it all covered in this nice little video. The Legends Celebration event is a new thing Kabam have put in place and I'm like so excited about what they've actually done. There's a good running time to this with most of the times it will, like some of these events only run for about like two, three days, like a summon appreciation. It looks like this runs for an entire week and there's a lot of like little things to consider when grinding this out. But we're going to go over that now and break it all down. And a full write-up for this will be in the description down below. Or you can switch to different time codes if there is time codes depending on how long this video is. Where you can go to each individual type of thing and then find out like top tips for the thing that I'm talking about. Okay, let's begin our journey in the Legends Store. This is very important and you really will need to put your effort in to grind. Firstly, you've got the 2% Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystal, which is looking very nice. You get two of them for eight Tier 4 Class Catalyst being traded in. Now, for me, I do end up hoarding a lot more of the Tier 4 Class Catalyst Crystals. And it's just, well, you know, I, I, I don't like the idea of overstocking my inventory and my stash. For most players, especially if you're free to play, your stash will be overflowing a lot more sooner than later and especially if you're waiting to rank up certain champions based on level up events based on say not having the correct champion you want for what given content you will find you're in situations like this and even with the summoner sigil that i have at the moment i don't ever want to get to a point where i'm overstocking my stash and also my inventory as well but the legend store is a fantastic place Especially if you're looking to trade in some of the, the lesser quality stuff, like the tier 3 uh, catalyst, the volume there. It's, it's not a huge amount, but still is enough for you to go, mm, okay, I'll consider it. And then going down, you've got other options as well. You can trade in your tier 4 class catalyst fragment crystals to get a tier 4 class catalyst crystal. So that's good to see that trade in. And as well with the health potions and the gold crystal at the bottom. I would say, firstly, if you're looking to grab more golden crystals, uncollected gold crystals, which are very nice, I would say to look to your 22-hour events. If you look at hero use, and you've got as well with the uh, the, the, the milestones, there's also do decent stuff with the rewards, but on the milestones, right at the very end, if you're able to grab it, you do get two. If you're able to do this on a daily, those 22-hour events, then it does mean it adds up especially over those seven days, there'll be a good opportunity to at least get some of those particular crystals. And as well, a good rank will give you uh, some more gold crystals for your trouble. So try and uh, work, work hard to kind of grab them. The Legend Store also has a trade-in function with health potions and revives. We'll talk a bit about that in a minute, especially as I'm not 100% sure if it's the greatest thing to be transferring a lot of the level two ones into level threes, especially as that's, I think it's more value to either keep them the way they are, if they are level uh, level one or even level two, and not doing so much of an extensive trading. I think it'll be only a value if you've got like loads of them in the stash, but again, we'll talk about that in a moment. Next up is Heralds of Galactus. Now I did talk about this before, about the idea of the favors, and when you use the favors now, this week is better than when you were using them for the last three weeks. So if you've unfortunately not been hoarding the Galactus favors, you may not get so much of an ex example of the advantages that you get as a result of these this improvement of boost. So we've got the summoner appreciation or kind of like gold gold boost of battle chips and gold so doing things like uh, well heralds of galactus becomes better for your grind and what i've been doing is i've been saving up the favors to then doing one big lot and for me because i like the arcus fight i felt that that was beneficial for some of the champions i had the structure of things uh, it just felt that it was better. So that is what I'm going to do is in one day is put on a load of boosts and that's something I would recommend and do a Herald of Galactus just marathon so to speak. So I would say grab some boosts to make it easier. If you are struggling just put some like really tasty boosts on. Usually if you go to like the boost store there may be something there. I also recommend going to the loyalty store and see if there's anything on advantage. 
that's uh, well specific to some of the champions. So say for example if you are going as I'm going against Arcus and I want to use a mystic champion, loads of mystic champions, then I would choose to put a mystic boost on. That would be for a higher volume of time, to so say an hour and then that's on. The same thing with some of the other boosts that boost up health, that boost up attack, uh, just combination champion boost ones. Just put a load of boosts on and just for one straight hour, just like go for a grind. It will mean that your champions will be more ramped up, they'll be stronger and they'll be able to smash through some of the content and you get that improvement of gold, which is what this event is all about. Now let's turn our attention to objectives. So there's two things on at the moment. There's the climbing the ladder objective, which is very specific to incursions grinding. Uh, look, incursions are take or leave with people when it comes to say your ally, your friend, your person that you're doing it with, Incursion's buddy, they have to represent as well. And sometimes it may not be the case that you can smash out this this one. So take or leave this one, depending on, uh, on what you find. Defeat Ultron, this one's a little bit more straightforward, and especially if you go to the following places. One option is if you do the classic Ultron Assault, so that's variant one, you can pick up one, two, and then three being the final boss for this particular grind. So it's up to you if you want to do this. I don't think it's very good for energy spend, but that's just my opinion on that. There is a better option. I'm just giving you an option that you don't have to like constantly repeat and it just changes things up. But the best option comes in shape and form of 2.1.1 Road to Labyrinth. On this fight, there is a Ultron. It is a two energy fight to get to. It's a pretty straightforward fight and can be done with most champions, especially if you're doing an auto fight for this and will definitely go towards your end uh, result. So let's just uh, just do this just for an example, just to show everybody. So yes, we've got that done. I'm hoping to see an objective pop up. Yes, there it is. Didn't pop up, unfortunately, but still it is there, it is logged. So yeah, uh, what do you have to do that? 15 times, so 15 times two energy. So that's gonna be 30 energy, that's pretty straightforward. Go do that if you're looking to uh, to grab that. So uh, yeah, Road to Labyrinth 2.1.1. Next up, we've got Halls of Fortune. Compared with the other ones, this is the best one, especially with uh, Halls of Glory, which kicked things off, was a little bit not great. I like the tier four uh, ISO selector. It's weird that we've now got ISO selectors. I like that, but at the same time, I didn't like it. The event is a bit of a high energy spend to a very low payoff. But uh, yeah, I would probably say save your energy for Halls of Fortune and as well Halls of Healing. Those seem to be the best ones to grind out. Next up, moving on to Legends Celebration Crystals. These are pretty cool and as well, I would recommend setting up alarms. For me, based on when I started collecting this, it was 7.15. My next one is at 2.15 p.m. and my next one is at 9.15 p.m. in the evening. So that's the thing. For me, I've got alarms set as to when I've got to collect them. It just means that when I do, it's down to a time frame of grabbing them so I can maximize how many I take home. I could set another alarm to wake myself up seven hours uh, later, but then it just like, it messes up the, the sequence of grabbing the crystals. It is possible to do that it's just a case of like I don't want to interrupt my sleep pattern just to collect uh, some in-game crystals but people will be up for that and the thing is if you're up for that you're up for that you do you at the end of the day and take home as many legends celebration crystals as possible but they're not too bad they've got some good stuff from them and I'm looking to hoard a load of them and see what I get at the end of the event but uh, yep good luck everybody on the grind for that okay now we're back in the legend store to talk about conversion of health potions and health potion farming. You can see here from a good amount of the ones that you get, there's level threes available. Level three health potions can be got really easily from doing the likes of Realm of Legends. In Realm of Legends, you'll get a, from a good grind, a good chunk. It could be a case you could grab upwards of seven of the level three health potions. There'll be times where RNG will drop more, but I would say from time and ease is to just go in and just do the Winter Soldier fight again and again. If you have Suicide Masteries, this particular fight will be very, very easy and especially very quickly completed and smashed out. There's a whole host of champions that can farm potions very quickly. I will try and put out a video as soon as I can of loads of examples. Some of the examples are in the left at the moment, but there are a lot more that I've missed off. And I'll probably put in some kind of shape and form. It will be in the description or it will be below of many options. I'll give you some off the top of my head. Archangel, Colossus, Hulkbuster, 
Cap, Infinity War, Namor, Blade, Hyperion, Guillotine with the synergies with Gamora, Morningstar, uh, and as well with uh, Ronin and so many others. They could be kind of maximized there for that particular soul smashing off the SP3. Long shot, Thor Ragnarok with a good synergy. There are so many. Quake, you know, to, to name but a few of champions that can smash through Winter Soldier very, very quickly and rinse and repeat. And it's not too much of a time sensitive because we want to smash this and we want to do it quickly. The next thing is arena grinding uses as a good opportunity to take home battle chips, gold and other resources in order to enjoy whether or not you are grinding out. And as well, the tickets do bear in mind the compensation for tickets is about to end. So remember like several months ago, we got that tickets compensation. Well, looks like that is just going to be just weighing out as a, a lot of players are. So yeah, it's going uh, so you're going to need more gold and battle chips. Use this as a good opportunity to grind out some content. I would say that for players, they may not opt for doing the four-star one. But for me, I'm personally going to do it. It's just the amount of battle chips you get for the amount of effort, especially only having to produce a 400k, as opposed to the 1 million that you need to for this arena, does mean that uh, it's just a value to grind out and do, as well as any other arena that's currently on. There's low takeoffs and ranks for different things so if you are looking to pick up something like a thor for example over the next two days and as well with the inclusion of dragon man i want to say it is is a good opportunity to then grind out as well like the catalyst clash alphas on so many things are on currently at the moment to pick up so yeah good opportunity for those to grind out arena maximize your take home as well as milestones and a final thing is content if you've got content to explore which i have i've still got variant five to do which is still not bad considering it's only been out what two weeks so if i can complete this by the end of the weekend i will maximize my take home for the gold which comes out from the event based on the little boost and bonus that we've got for this event here so uh increase all gold and battle chips earned by 20 percent. so yeah maximize your take home ladies and gentlemen that is what you need to do and you'll have an absolute ball doing it and yeah good luck to you on the grind there we go, that's been a little guide on this particular Legends event. I would say I like the little tip about the Legends crystal, especially if you're looking to take home a good amount from those crystals. They're not too bad. Look, they're not god tier, but the fact is they've got these little things that you would normally buy with units, or it'd be nice to kind of limit down spend on things like loyalty if you're after the boost. And as well, the same thing like energy refills, units for free if you're getting them. So yeah, that's going to be really cool. I know a lot of players will enjoy those particular crystals good luck with your grind make sure to go to road to labyrinth as i said all info that i've discussed and talked about will be in the description if you want to check out some of the guides written up so yeah thanks very much for watching this video hopefully you enjoyed it and i'll see you very soon which will probably be later on in a phoenix incursions video but until then check out some other content up here check out some other stuff down here and i'll see you in the next one bye bye for now